Time to get this. It's time to eat right. It's time to change your life with Petey's Principles. Welcome to Petey's Principles, a show dedicated to changing your life through proper nutrition and exercise. I want to dedicate today's show to our future, our children. They start out so young and eager to learn. Then they become teenagers and then adults to go to college. But are they making the right choices when it comes to proper nutrition and exercise? There are so many new schools and universities in this country today that are taking a stance and putting in wellness programs. And we'll visit some. But really, it all starts with us parents. We need to teach our children young so that they can incorporate these positive habits for a lifetime. I want you to take your whole family, including your children, and take notes so that they're healthier when going back to school. Childhood obesity is very serious in this country. This may be the first generation of kids that dies before their parents. You hear it from almost every health and fitness expert. Our children are facing an obesity nightmare. Almost 25 million children in this country are overweight. Eating too much and exercising too little is to blame. Homework, I don't have time to exercise. I'll just eat a quick snack. And I don't have time to eat right. Forget about exercise, I'm tired. Time out. There's a lot of things happening in your child's life right now. School, homework, dating, but proper nutrition and exercise needs to be on top of their list. You know, our children, they only have one body and they need to learn how to take care of it. It really all starts when they're young, like right now. They're at school, they're learning alphabets, they're making different shapes, but we always need to teach them proper nutrition and exercise. I think parents have to think about the nutrition of their children very early, so starting from the time that they're infants. In fact, studies found teaching children from a young age how to eat a proper diet can be so effective, they'll carry that into young adulthood. The, the parents are the most important role models for their kids, so what starts at home is gonna lead them on a path. So that means when they go off to college or high school, they're making better choices when it comes to foods, and you don't have to tell them to. See, this is critical because a lot of schools in this country are not serving healthy lunches. A good example, this is an elementary school menu, and on it is french fries and a cheeseburger. I say no more. This is why our children are facing an obesity crisis in this country today. You know, I did my own ratings, and here's my report card. I compared three lunches, bologna and cheese on white bread, the packaged Lunchables, and turkey with low-fat cheese on whole wheat. The bologna sandwich got an F. The Lunchables got a C plus. Just check out all the calories and fat. The winner, the turkey sandwich. It gets an A plus. It only has 460 calories, four grams of fat, and six grams of fiber. Before you even get to lunch, you need to remember breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Kids who eat breakfast do better in school, so, so it is an important meal um, and to keep the uh, nutrition and the energy flowing throughout the day. When serving up meals, make sure they include low-fat protein and plenty of fruits and vegetables. Also, try to eat together as a family. Studies have shown families who eat together are less likely to have obesity problems. If we can educate our families and get the kids motivated and get the families motivated, that we can turn it around. 